Hi guys, so I decided I would do a quick little video to show you how I comb Posey out every evening before bed. So generally, as I'm laying on the bed, um, I will start this process. And so I just take a little pair of scissors and clip out her band without snipping any hairs. And she's looking pretty ratty today. Say so, babe. I usually spray on some um, conditioning spray. This one is Chris Christensen Just Divine Brushing Spray. I really like this one and I just give her a light little mist. And then I take my pin brush and start brushing through her little coat. She's usually pretty good about this. If you look further back at some of my other videos from when she was um, a puppy and we had only had her a few weeks she really did not like being groomed but she's a lot better at it now so I just take this sometimes I go against the hair this way and then back down and I start on one side go down her little leg and her hair up here careful not to get her eyes and under her chin I find that if I do this every evening after the day it's best that way in the morning I can just do her hair and give her a quick little brush through um, I know some people prefer to give them the heavy brushing in the morning I find it best to do it in the evening if I let her sleep with all those tangles from the day the next morning they seem worse so it's best to get them out before bed so after I comb through her fur with her brush or rather her hair because Yorkies have hair um, I use a comb and I was using this metal comb here but I was at TJ Maxx, which I love, um, a few weeks back, and I came across this comb. Here's the packaging for this comb. For $2.99 at TJ Maxx, I think that's a pretty good find. Um, they have a pretty good... Posey's barking her head off at me because I'm ignoring her. They have a pretty good selection of pet supplies, and you just never know what you're going to find there. But this one was a total win. All of the little teeth actually rotate, they spin. And the claim is that it helps get through tangles more easily. And so I thought it was like $2.99. And so I bought it and you know what? I really do love it. If I come across a tangle, I just kind of take a few little sweeps and it because they roll with the tangle, it comes straight out. So I run this all the way through all the hair that I've already brushed and her little feet too which this is the part where she usually gets a little irritated with me, but she's much better than she was. You can see she's trying to bite me a little bit. She's a good girl, Posey. And then I take the fine teeth and do that as well. And um, just really try to get every little square inch of hair. You really have to go through very carefully and get every little square inch of hair because if you miss a section after a few days, you will notice some matting. This area behind her ear if you were to lift up the ear, I know this is almost like you can't tell because she has so much hair, but underneath here, if I don't really get that really well, there will be lots of tangles within a couple of days. So um, I really work on that. Um, around her little face, I'm gentle, not to get her eyes either, huh, Posey? And then I flip her around and do the other side. Flip, lay down, baby, good girl. And we just start combing her out, brushing her out rather. Brush, brush, brush on this side as well. Get all the little tangles out. Do the best I can with the brush first. Sometimes I can get her to roll over easily. Other times she kind of is spastic. Just brush it all out. Good girl, Posey. Then I take my comb again and go in there and really work. Make sure it slides through nicely. Lift up that ear. Get all that hair under there. Onto her cheeks. If you don't get inside the cheek hair, it's face hair, but I call it cheeks right in here. Um, sometimes if you're just brushing the surface, you think you've got it well and you've got You've removed all the tangles, but you will find out that deep down inside, little tangles are clustering up and becoming one big mat. So it's really important to get all the way in there. 
remove any excess hair from the comb. It does gather under the chin and then her little arms is cozy. It's okay. Her little arms as well. This seems to be the area she hates. This posy. Sit. 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 Her arms, for some reason, she does not like them to be brushed out, but I do it anyways. Oh, that posy. Good girl. And then she always gets a treat. You want a treat? Do you want a treat? Mommy give you a treat when she's all done. So we just get all the little tangles out, and it's worth it now to get them all out rather than waiting and having to deal with mats. And so when she's all done, she always gets a treat. And we give her a little treat. I get really small, whoop, Posey said, I actually buy really tiny treats. You can see this is smaller than my fingernail. Um, just as a little reward for being a good girl during hair time. And there she is looking all floppy and messy, which I actually think it's cute. And in the morning, she'll get a new ponytail up top. But for bedtime, she gets to sleep and let her little head relax. So as you can see, it really doesn't take much if you just put in the time every night and give them a good solid brush out and comb out. It's worth it. It's always worth it to take the time to do it every day rather than put it off a few days or a week and then you have to deal with so many more tangles. As you can see, this just glides right through. So it's really the best way to do it. And when you love your pets, you want them to be tangle-free. So good night, everyone. Thanks for watching.